Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Big Vale, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving away one of my best war bases. It's even defended against Carnage Gaming. Alright, so I'm not going to just expect you guys to take my word for it. I know it's a good base, and I want you guys to be convinced too before you try using it. Now, because I haven't done that many wars recently, I figured, why not just use it in Legends League? So I've put it up in Legends for the last couple of days, and I've been tripled once, I believe. One time, and that's mid-Legends, so it's not like I'm low Legends, where there's a lot of people hitting me that may still be Town Hall 13, or haven't got maxed out offense. I mean, you can see this guy here, all his troops are maxed out. He's got his Super Bowls maxed out as well, so this guy means business. And don't get me wrong, it's not the... It's not the best Super Bowl or Smash attack I've ever seen. This isn't what I would do. And if you do want to check out the composition that I've been rocking, then check out up there, guys. You will see a link to it. In fact, is it there? It's somewhere it's somewhere on the top of the screen. I don't even know anymore. But it is somewhere up there. That will give you the composition. It will show you how to execute it. Trust me, it's really strong. But this base, it's set up, I mean, on the most basic level, it's almost a teaser base with the Town Hall located on the far side. When you're doing a ground smash attack, the temptation, in fact, the, the correct way of doing it would be to go opposite side to the Town Hall, which is exactly what A Gamer 2015 has done here. Unfortunately, there's so much on the way through and it's so difficult to get through to that Town Hall, especially with those weird wall layouts, that honestly, when he started this attack, I was actually watching this live and for me, I called a one star right off the bat. Okay, that's one example. You may be thinking, Big Vale, but that wasn't really the best attack. Fair enough, guys, fair enough. So let's get into another replay, just to try and give you a little bit more of a taste of what this base can do. And our next replay is from Bavin. Let's go two times on this one too. So we're moving away from uh, the ground spam, which is, of course, going to be the new meta, in my opinion, over to an air spam attack. So he's going in with his dragons, he's got his riders and balloons. Uh, he's got his king and queen, I think, are going to be funneling down a side. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this isn't the best executed air spam attack, but you can see how quickly it all dies out. He's got his dragons spreading. He didn't create any real funneling with his heroes. I mean, I'm... I'm guessing he used his heroes. I haven't actually... Oh, there we go. The king and queen move in. They're more used as a cleanup, which is unusual. So with an air spam attack, typically you would be looking at uh, having your heroes doing the sui. Maybe hold your RC back, of course. But uh, the Hydra is meant to be your main push that's meant to take out the whole base. Uh, I guess this guy didn't get the memo, but I'm not going to judge him too much. This isn't really going to be about attacks this is more about how the base holds up and hopefully you're getting more and more convinced so we've seen a uh, ground spam we've seen an air spam attack and the base has done really well both times and this one's finishing up in a high 60s let's just say it, 69 percent two star for Bavin. it's a tough base guys and we'll get one more replay in and then i'll tell you what cc i recommend with it okay and just to finish off the Proving grounds, if you like, to prove that this base is as good as I say it is. We're going with one more legend hit here. It is a Blizzard Lalo. I mean, textbook entry, moving into the Town Hall of the Super Wizards, uh, take the Town Hall down, but there's not much value there. And honestly, coming in from a better angle, on the face of it, looks like coming in from the uh, dark, uh, dark Barracks over at 11. But... We've got it baited, guys. We've got seeking air mines in the area, so that blimp would not make it, and that would be a blizzard fail. So Overport chose the right option there. It was safe, it was limited on value, but it did at least get the town hall, so it secured the one star for him. Uh, the rest of the attack, guys, is just built around finishing this Sui off, so we know how to do a blizzard lolly. You've all seen my video on it. You know it's a good attack. And, you know, Overpaw's not done a bad job of it, but this base is not easily taken down. So he's got the Lolo moving in. The pathing's not too bad, but he does have two multis, two scatter shots. He's got an air expo to worry about, maxed out, by the way. And we've got all sorts of air targeting defenses. Um, yeah, solid base, really solid. So as I've said, it's really effective in Legends, but it's not really meant for that. It's meant as a war base, so if you want to use it in Legends, go for it. Maybe you'll want to change the traps around a little bit. 
in war, maybe you'll want to change the traps around a little bit too. I mean, it's got specific baiting set up, but uh, yeah, feel free to change it up. And if anyone happens to see this base and think, wait, I know this, that's big veil space. I know where the traps are. Throw them off a little bit. Throw a curveball. But yeah, so um, as mentioned, guys, and as you probably just saw, the CC, it's triple ice golem. So three ice golems. They are really effective for start stopping a uh, ground charge coming in from the opposite side to the town hall. Can really slow things down, and that's honestly part of the reason, I think, why we got a uh, one-star defense in the first replay that I showed to you. So, guys, take it away. The link to the base is in the description of the video. It is all yours to use and abuse as you wish. So, guys, if you are going to take advantage of the base, or even if you don't, please do drop a like on the video. Also drop a comment to let me know how you get on with it. I'm really interested to know your experiences with this base. Mine have been great. Hopefully yours will be too. And, of course, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, please do so. It'd mean the world to me, but also if you turn on notifications, it'll mean that you'll be made aware when I go live in the future, which I do probably a couple of times a week, and when I post new videos, which, you know, I do one or the other every single day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome one. Much love. Big Veil is out.